I know that most of you come to my channel for my insightful and in-depth analysis of the Trolls movies, so today you're in luck. We get to talk about the latest one in this video review. You suck, you jackass. No troll left behind! Now, I'm a middle-aged man with back trouble and an affinity for the history of the samurai and how to improve my golf game. So naturally, the third Trolls movie is right in my wheelhouse. <laughs> Jokes aside, I've seen the first two Trolls movies more than I would ever wish upon another human being. I hate Trolls. I have young kids who were much younger when the first two were released. Trolls World Tour was released during the height of COVID, so I didn't have to play chaperone to the youngins for that film. But for the newest one, I had a few early passes to see this third iteration in the theater. Unlike most of my lonely jaunts to the cinema, I figured Misery loves company, so I took the miniature humans to the theater so they could experience the film before all their friends would. My oldest even wanted to hold on to the ticket so she could prove it to her friends when they said they didn't believe her. Well played. So, the reason you tuned in, was this film any good? Well, I'm happy to report that theaters sell beer now because it will help dull the pain that dads, uncles, and grandpas are about to endure. I need a beer. Let's discuss the 2023 DreamWorks animated family film, Trolls Band Together. No spoilers. I know you don't care. Trolls Band Together is the third installment in the Trolls franchise. It's hard to keep up because there was an animated show on Netflix and now there's one on Hulu, I, g I guess. Either way, there's a ton of Trolls content if you're a diehard and looking for some. In this film, Poppy and Branch have left the friend zone and taken that next step in becoming a couple. During the wedding of their close Bergen friends, one of Branch's long-lost brothers interrupts to inform Branch that his brother Floyd has been kidnapped. It's here where the plot thickens and it's revealed to Poppy that Branch has a secret past. He was once part of her favorite boy band phenomenon, Brozone, with his four brothers, Floyd, John Dory, Spruce, and Clay. In response to the news, Branch and Poppy embark on a journey to reunite Branch with his two other brothers to aid in rescuing Floyd. The cast is pretty stacked per usual, which includes Justin Timberlake, Anna Kendrick, Zoe Deschanel, Amy Schumer, Eric Andre, Keenan Thompson, Camila Cabello, Christopher Mintz Place, and David Diggs, amongst many others. So let's discuss some of the positives in the film. The movie is colorful and barely an hour and 20 minutes, so it's perfect for youngsters with limited attention spans. And there's some nostalgia boy band bait for the moms who get dragged to the film. And there's also this clever, quick 2D scene in the middle of the movie that clearly was inspired by Yellow Submarine. And that's about it. Now let's earn that role of critic by being a bit critical. It's not like this movie will break any ground, but the story is the least engaging of the trilogy. Many of the characters in this movie are really irritating when they used to be somewhat likable. And to me, this film was the least entertaining and fun of the previous two. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of this series, but this one felt a little off the whole time. They introduced a slew of new characters in the film, some of which are like a mix between a Muppet and the Who's from Dr. Seuss. Really, the whole movie is like one big colorful blur accompanied by some late 90s, early aughts boy band spectacle. Overall, this film is relatively saccharine, harmless, and forgettable. It is short and colorful, so those kids you're taking to see it will probably love it. I asked all three of my kids how they would grade the movie, and I was hit with the following ratings. The oldest said it was an 8 out of 10, the middle said it was an 8 out of 10, and the youngest, who's 6, said it was a trillion billion infinity out of 10. So the moral of the story is that the younger they are, the more they're going to like this film. For you parents, make sure your local theater sells adult beverages to make this an easy experience for you to stomach. So I'd give this a 5 out of 10, but it gets a 0.5 bump with the level at which the youngsters enjoyed it. So Trolls Band Together, have you seen it? Let me know what you thought of it in the comments. If you hated this review but watched it this far to tell me that, then hey, thanks for watching. I hope it was worth it. If you like this review, feel free to drop a like, comment, and maybe even share it with a friend or family member or coworker. And just remember, the views expressed in this video are mine and mine alone. But what do I know? I'm but a mere jackass. I'll try to do better next time. Catch you later, friends. Oh, big golf, huh? All right. Well, see you later.